I'd like to present a brief presentation. It's my study that was conducted. Понятное дело, что, как уже сегодня было сказано, любой any virus accumulates some mutations. They may be neutral, absolutely neutral, or they may be important for pathogenicity of the virus and for the rate of viral transmission. When we started when in G seed base sequences of the genomes of different of the coronavirus uh, became available, I decided to download them to understand the heterogeneity of the virus in different parts of the world. In fact, I initially I concentrated on the S protein because uh, this, uh, because it uh, it's on the uh, surface of the coronavirus and it allows coronavirus to interact with the ACE on the surface of the cell. Due to this intervention, coronavirus can enter the cell. The search for mutation in this protein and moreover, this protein, as far as I know, uh, different vaccines are targeted uh, for uh, this uh, protein. It's important to study this as protein, understanding what kind of strain, uh, how it is likely to spread to predict its pathogenicity and the rate of transmission, and how a mutation in this case may be very important. I decided to find out uh, the mutations uh, that appear in the coronavirus genome. For this means, I download all the possible consequences up to the end of the March, March more than 1,000 consequences from the GSAID uh, database. Then I conducted the search for uh, the gene uh, coding uh, spike protein thanks to the BLAST software. Then I received uh, the genes uh, that code the protein encode the protein and started to work with this base database. As a result, what I noticed first uh, that in some isolates, in a great number of isolates uh, that are that uh, were collected from Europe, the South and Northern uh, uh, America in the position of 614 of the amino acid sequences of the S sir um, protein. There was uh, the replacement of uh, asparagine to glycine. These two amino acids, they are completely different uh, uh, as to their um, uh, chemical build up Asparag asparagine acid has an additional charge and can form uh, additional bindings with other chemical elements and it does influence uh, the interaction of different domains uh, domains with each other different proteins with each other and the replacement of this amino acid to glycine may be critically important for the function of the protein and the, for the structure of the protein. Apart from this, glycine, the replacement of any amino acid to glycine may considerably influence the structure of the protein. In fact, uh, glycine and the presence of glycine in the amino acid consequence makes this consequence more uh, the sequences sequence more 
important, more durable. It can greatly influence uh, the property of the virus, uh, the strains of the virus with this uh, sequence of amino acids. I am waiting for the picture to be displayed to show the spread of these mutations in different isolates. I'll try to speak without visual aid. If we look at the result of the assays, of the tests, we can see this asparagine acid is more difficult of the isolates so that were detected in the beginning of the epidemics, and they were detected in Asia. And <laughs> Curie. I've mentioned this here. Asparagine acid in this position is an initial basic form comparing to glycine. When the replacement happens, and if it happens in February, in the beginning of March, it's interesting that it's, uh, the strain with the glycine started to go from the east to the west. The majority of isolate of Europe and both Americas and Australia as well, they carry uh, glycine in this position, not asparagic acid. As to isolate, so that we are uh, cultured and isolated in Russia, they were analyzed. For them, it's most typical to have glycine in this position uh, rather than asparagic acid. It uh, proves the hypothesis that coronavirus uh, was uh, carried to us from Europe. This assay was conducted at the end of February in the begin at the end of March in the beginning of April. Later, I decided to look at the literature to find out uh, that uh, somebody had the results. At uh, the end of April, uh, by our archive site, uh, the article appeared, the article was download, uh, uh, download, uploaded. The authors of this paper, of this article, uh, they suggested uh, that uh, the presence of this mutation in S protein makes uh, the coronavirus more capable for spread and transmission. They analyzed they analyzed and uh, predicted uh, the influence of this change uh, on the structure of the protein. Two hypotheses were or they came up with two hypotheses how this mutation can influence uh, the transmission rate of the virus. It was shown uh, that probably this mutation did influence uh, the conformation of the S protein and its uh, property uh, of binding with the S2 receptor. It's, not, it's considered that the presence of this mutation makes this interaction more durable and the virus is attached to the receptor longer. It gives uh, the capability to the virus to enter the cell more effectively. It's considered that this mutation even can influence the effectiveness uh, of the binding of neutralizing antibodies with this protein. If a person um, uh, uh, had uh, the strain or with the asparagic, asparagine acid in this position, maybe neutralizing antibodies may be not more effective. 
against this train. And quite recently, another article was published that says that this mutation can considerably enhance a viral infectivity and decrease uh, neutralizations or, or of uh, sensitivity to individual convalescent sera. I haven't published my results. One conclusion can be made uh, that uh, one should and must uh, publish uh, the, their results uh, in due time. Otherwise, you can't uh, be first. Uh, as protein, in fact, has other important mutations. One of the interesting ones, it's the first mutation that was found only in Belgium. It was found also, these isolates were, were found before all the borders of Belgium uh, became closed. And it's not clear why this uh, strain uh, was not uh, transported to the other countries. Now, the information about how these mutations may influence the property of the virus, uh, there is no data in literature. They are just described in the lit literature without detailed characteristics. All along, the conclusion can be made uh, that the replacement of uh, asparagine as it emanates to glycine in SARS-CoV-2 can be interesting and may have important implications for the transmission of the coronavirus and for the development of and effectiveness of a vaccine. Thank you for your attention.